good morning all of you now in the previous period we have studied about or discuss about this merit and demerit of the mendic periodic table now we will uh, now see here now some questions are there write the molecular formula of oxide of the following elements by referring to the mendelic periodic table now what we have to do now see just what we have, the a first uh, you see one and sodium so you take uh, sodium and oxides are there so i can write this you know, sodium oxide then second one is silicon uh, ox dioxide okay so in this manner we can add this okay so these are we can you use utilize this with the oxides okay yeah, oxides means oxygen you have to add oxygen atom with this elements then second write the molecular formula of the compounds of the following elements with hydrogen by referring to the mendelic periodic table for example carbon sulfur bromine okay so how you will do, attempt this you have to just uh, add this hydrogen with this so for example first one so uh, carbon is there so how you will write this carbon means c hydrogen we add this in this manner so this is methane second you see sulfur is there so you will hydrogen sulfur sulfide okay so uh, with the other also you add this hydrogen atom okay you will find the compound now modern periodic law the scientific world did not know anything about the interior of the atom when mendeleev put forth the periodic table so when at the time of mendeleev we don't know about the interior of the atom in structure of the atom for example we know now we know that the uh, atom is having uh, electrons protons neutrons that time it was not there so after the discovery of electrons scientists started exploring uh, exploring uh, discussing about this uh, the relation between the electronic number electron number of an atom and the atomic number so they were discussing about the electron we know that this in uh, atom uh, electrons are there okay then protons are there then the neutrons are there okay neutrons okay these are the structure in this so uh, electron and proton the so in a atom electrons number of electron is nothing is equal always equal to the number of proton okay and this is uh, th what is this proton plus neutron is atomic mass number okay and this is uh, number of electron is atomic number okay and it is denoted by z and this is denoted by a okay now uh, with then uh, after the atomic number in mendeleev periodic table only can read the serial number of the element now in 1913 ad the english scientist henry moseley demonstrated with the help of experiment done using x ray tube that the atomic number okay just now we have seen atomic number of an element correspond to the positive charge on the nucleus or the number of the proton in the nucleus of the atom of that element okay so this reveal that atomic number is a more fundamental property of an element than its atomic mass accordingly the statement of the modern periodic law was stated as follows so totally the concept was changed in the we have seen in the newland debunier and then uh, mendeleev that uh, atomic mass number was the fundamental now in this case now what we are doing we are using the atomic number as a fundamental so uh, properties of elements are a periodic function of their atomic numbers we know that atomic number is number of uh, proton or electron okay so periodic function means the electron in neg uh, electron negativity atomic radius electron affinity metallic character so on now modern periodic table or long form of the periodic table now we will see now this what is mean by modern periodic table or the long it is also called as the long form of the periodic table the classification of element re resulting of from an element arrangement of the element in an increasing order of their atomic number is the modern periodic table now you just refer this table this is called as the modern periodic table now just you see here this uh, elements are there they are arranged on the basis of the increasing order of the atomic numbers now for example hydrogen it is having one atomic number okay uh, then you see helium is there atomic number 
okay it means that it is having two electrons or protons okay now lithium 3 4 in this manner you see this atomic number this is arranged according to increasing order of the atomic number now the properties of element can be predicted more accurately with the help of the modern periodic table form on the basis of atomic numbers the modern periodic table is also called the long form of the periodic table now in the modern periodic table able, the elements are arranged in accordance with their atomic number we have seen c table number 2.7 as we have already seen as a result most of the drawbacks of modern periodic uh, sorry mendeley periodic table appear to be removed okay so drawbacks were there uh, for example, we have seen in the uh, Mendeley periodic table uh, that uh, cobalt and the nickel, they were having the atomic mass number uh, 59 and 59, okay. Uh, very slight difference was there. So, uh, now they are having, we know that cobalt is having atomic number 27 and nickel is having 28. So, that was totally removed by this. Then, uh, however, the ambiguity that is doubtfulness about the position of hydrogen is not removed even in the modern periodic table now we will see about the hydrogen afterwards okay uh, means as we know that the hydrogen was is in first group also and in the seventh group also now we have seen in the previous standard that the electronic configuration of an atom the way in which the electron are distributed in the shells around the nucleus is determined by the total number of electron in it for example you see sodium okay sodium is there okay uh, what is the atomic number of sodium 11 is there so how it will be uh, you see here this is for example this is uh, this nucleus is there then one uh, these two electrons are there then uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay so 10 and now one is uh, this in this manner then one electron is there so these are uh, shells this is called a shells Okay, K, L, M, and shells are there. So, this uh, K shell, L shell, and M shell. So, the and the total number of electrons in an atom is same as the atomic number. The relation between the atomic number of an element and its electronic configuration is clearly seen in the modern periodic table. So, we will stop here.